Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about sound, science, and technology. Um, when you guys hear a sound, it's usually it's some type of a wave, a sound wave, right? So you guys, do you guys know anything about, about sound waves and science and that kind of stuff? No. All right, so the red wave here is, is the low frequency, and the purple here is a high frequency, okay? So when you hear something, a sound, you'll, you'll be able to identify what kind of a sound wave it is, okay? The human ear hears frequencies between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. So that's that's what your ear hears. How many of you guys play instruments? What do you play? Guitar, what do you play? Guitar, what do you play? Saxophone, what do you play back there? Guitar, what do you play? All right, so a lot of guitar players. What do you play back there? Yeah, drums, all right. Okay, so every, every instrument has some type of material that it's made out of and it has a certain resonance, okay? So, so you have a, a very uh, distinct sound coming out of every instrument. So if you could see your voice in a, an oscilloscope or in a spectrogram, this is what it would look like. It would just be a bunch of sound waves, right? And everybody has a very unique sound in their voice, and, and this is ca captured with a spectrum, spectrum analyzer. So that's what makes you understand or hear or recognize somebody that's calling you. Like your teacher or your mom when she says, go take a bath, and you just tune it out. Okay, so instruments are all made from different materials. They're made out of metals, they're made out of wood, and so every, every material has a different type of resonance, okay? And so you have harmonics, you have resonance, and that's what gives the, the, uh, the instrument its, its tone. So if you look at a, a piano and you play a middle C, play a middle C. That's 261 uh, hertz or, or cycles per second. Play a mid middle A. And that is 440 um, hertz. Okay, so you have you have a, a little bit of understanding of you know frequency, low frequencies, high frequencies. So if we if we shift over to technology and music, Dave's got a guitar there. The strings ring at a certain frequency, and then they go into a pickup. And the pickup has magnets in it. There's a couple of magnets, bar magnets, and then it's wound with a bunch of uh, copper wire. And then it comes out through this wire here, and then it goes through the electronics into the amplifier. So go ahead and play, play a chord. Okay, so if you look inside a guitar, you've got a couple of controls there. You've got a, a volume control and you've got a tone control. Well, a volume control is like a water faucet for current, okay? If, if you turn it on all the way, all the frequency goes through. If you turn it off, none of the frequency goes through. And the second control is a tone control. So that controls the amount of high frequencies that are going through. It's only the high frequencies. Go ahead and play something. So guitars get hooked up to all kinds of, of equipment, all kinds of foot pedals and, and different types of, of equipment to make different sounds, right? And so these, uh, these types of equipment are, are then plugged into amplifiers or plugged into recording devices. But now we've got technology where you don't need any of that anymore. So, they're taking out a lot of the equipment and it's all being put onto the computer. Just to give you a little bit of a background on how things used to be recorded, the songs used to be recorded in these, these old reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders and it's all magnetic media, okay? So we had, we had all the older artists like Elvis and Buddy Holly, all them, they used to record in these old, old reel-to-reel, uh, reel-to-reels, <laughs> yeah. And so the newer ones are all digitized. You have digital sound going into the tape. Then, then they started going to CDs and DVDs. And now you've got the iMac, where you've got everything that you need right in the computer. And Dave has done that. He, he writes a lot of music that's um, suited for like uh, video games. How many of you guys have video games? And so the, the sound that you hear in the, in, the, in the back, the soundtrack, that's the kind of music that Dave writes. Go ahead and give him a demo.
Okay, so that's how it's done now. You guys have any questions? He can put he can put drums, keyboards, everything on there, and then he plays it back. He, so he records his own music, and the majority of the music that he does is like for video games. Okay. So the software that Dave has, there's there's several different types of software that you can use that all do the same thing, but this is what they use in sound recording studios now. They just use some some type of a um, computer with a, a software, and they record everything right into the computer. Then they mix it down, put it on, burn it onto DVDs, and that's how they make the music these days. You gotta practice, practice and practice and practice and practice. Lots of discipline. Yep, yep. <laughs> Eight hours a day. Eight hours a day. It's like having a job. Yep. Exactly. <laughs>